Welcome back to the Morning Woodward Show right here on the Woodward Sports Network, Detroit's all-digital sports network, and we're so happy that we got this guest. Actually, Joey got this guest, went yeah. out of his way. We call him the mayor around here, and this is the exact reason. Joey, why don't you introduce who we have on this morning? Listen, I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy, <laughs> and that guy was Jimmy who connected us with the newest Detroit Lion who we welcome to Detroit, Jamal Williams. What's yeah. up, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamal, man, how's it feel? Uh, are you officially in Detroit or not yet? Nah, not yet. I'm in Arizona right now, just for the off season training and stuff. But I'm moving my stuff now to the D. I'm headed to Detroit, <laughs> baby. I gotta warn you, all right. Weather here in Detroit is a little bit different than it is in Arizona. Just letting you know. Uh, listen, I've I've been in Green Bay too long. I've been in a, a frozen tundra for too long, so I don't think nothing could be worse than that. I think Detroit. <laughs> I'll be out in Detroit. Don't worry. Oh, I'm man. used to the climate. I think you're absolutely gonna love it here. Like your swag, the way you fit in, and like you're dancing on the field, man. Like that's the type of energy yeah. we need as Lions fans. But I'm telling you, like the people of Detroit, if you score a big yeah. touchdown, you start dancing, you're gonna set a whole trend here, man. Oh, let's go. <laughs> <I love Trent. laughs> hey, now, hold Trent on, Jamal. Center, baby. <laughs> hey, hey, now, Jamal, look, in, that, in, that, in, your introduct oh, man, in your introductory press conference, you were going down the line saying who some, who some of the reporters look like. Now, nah, up here, wh what you uh -oh. got for us? Who, 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 right, who are our right. lookalikes? <laughs> okay, all right. Now, you said you're lookalike? I'm actually, yeah. I actually just go off of your own swag. Put that four back up. Put that four. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, okay. See, I like his swag with the blazer and the sweater because it, it's like comfortable, but it's so like business. You know what I mean? Business on the outside, party man on the inside. <laughs> man, he knows me. Like, well, I don't Nailed. even know him, but he just called me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hmm. Let me see. Joey, you. <laughs> Joey, I feel like you only like 5'4. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's true. Oh, no, no. Five, three and a half, yeah. but all right. Yeah, I know. And you look like a hell of a, like, a hell of a ultimate Frisbee player, too. It's cornhole, but all right. He's like, like Miss Cleo, man. man. You don't want to try me, man. I'm pretty good. I'm yeah, just saying. I'll take oh, you on the basketball my... court all day, though, but go ahead. to court over there. You can't? Oh, shoot. I'm really slashing. I'm a slasher. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on now. Jo Joey gets mean on the court. This guy, he tried out for the Grand Rapids Drive, so you been, I don't, I don't know. He, he, he might, get, might get real physical with you. Man, I don't think he can shoot. I don't think he can shoot. <laughs> so what do you think, think of Corey? Shoot. Corey, Corey honestly give me a good vibe. He, he looks like he watched anime, too. Watch <laughs> you know <something>. what? Wrestling. <laughs> Close. I watch wrestling. You like wrestling? I, 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 yeah, I watch a little bit of anime, but I'm a wrestling guy. Listen, listen, listen. listen. Oh, back in the day, Goldberg. Goldberg was my boy. That was my only dude I liked the most. Just because of ah, ah, all this stuff going on. I'm like, hey, you got to be a cold dude to come out with security. That's all I know. They, they got to come get you. Hey, you ready, man? Let's go. Facts. That's all I'm saying. Facts. Mm. Well, man, we're so excited hey. to have you in Detroit, um, you know, to get into some football talk. Like, when Adrian Peterson was talking about this team last year, he said we were just a couple mm -hmm. pieces away from taking that next step. And some people feel mm -hmm. we're in a rebuild, but I see us adding people like you, maybe, you know, getting some good draft picks, and, of course, you know, Tyrell mm -hmm. Williams, too. How are you feeling about joining in the backfield with DeAndre Swift and a carry-on Johnson? Man, it feels good. I'm grateful to be back there with him, man. You know, I'm just ready to go to work with my boys. Uh, it's going to be fun because they going to see, man. I'm a weird boy. I'm a weird dude, but it's all positive, you know. And I'm always going to be myself. I'm always going to be me, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's all about getting that job done. We're going to do that in the running back room for sure. So we all going to have heart. We all going to have that positive mindset, that competitive mindset to be the dogs and just get stuff done. They know they give us the ball. We gonna get it done, and they know that we blocking. We gonna get it done. We got one on one routes against line linebackers, safeties, anybody. We gonna get it done. So that's just gonna how, that's gonna how it's gonna be in the room. So you gotta have that mindset, that mentality that you gonna get it done every time, no matter what. It ain't gonna be easy, but at the same time, you know you can get it done. 
To piggyback off stick, obviously coming from Green Bay, you're familiar with the Detroit Lions and you've seen some type of DeAndre Swift. What type of mismatch or problems you see you and Swift creating for defenders of the season? Oh, man, we're going to have fun. I, I like how my boy run already. He go out there having fun himself. You know what I mean? And he, he's going out there fearless, and that's how you got to play. And I think just having two fearless people, and it, I think it just makes it contagious for everybody to know that we got everybody's back. And to have people out there who are going to make plays for the team, not go out of their character and do too much, but do what they know they can do and, and make it productive is how you're supposed to play. So uh, a little bit of a spoiler alert. I have never actually been a professional athlete, in case you can't tell. <laughs> of but, course. Yeah. Uh, I had the feeling. I had the energy coming out of me. Spoiler alert. At five it. foot four, unfortunately, Jamal, I wasn't blessed enough. But walk us through. I mean, us regular people, we've never been through that mindset of a professional athlete. Like, what goes through your head the day that you get let go from the Packers and then get signed on mm. to that new opportunity with the Detroit Lions, which we're so excited for? Uh, honestly, it's, it's like a regular job somebody else go through. Especially, it's, it's basically like getting fired, <laughs> but <laughs> somewhat. So you basically get fired, you unemployed. You got to make sure yourself is ready to go, you know, and, and make sure that you're doing everything possible to let teams know that you're in the best shape possible. You're a, a vet. You know what you're doing. You know what you need to improve on to get better. And, you know, you could be a, that piece for anything to bring on to, to help them win. And... I'm just grateful for, you know, the Lions for giving me this this shot. I'm ready, you know what I mean? And for them to believe in me and the coaches and everybody to give me this opportunity too, I'm not going to let it go to waste because I'm a person about taking your opportunities and making them count. I watch too much anime. Too many, too much anime to, to, to not put this in real life, baby. So I'm ready to take my chances and go to work. I'm ready to put in my, my dues, man. Well, speaking of anime, we almost have like our own anime character as a head coach, and yeah, I'm sure you saw his press conference when Dan Campbell got introduced. So I got to ask you to do one thing for me: if you were to bite off a kneecap, how would it look? Me? Oh man! If if I gotta take a kneecap, I'm doing it like a ninja, a ninja assassin. You know what I mean? I'm gonna pull out a little shuriken and just. <laughs> 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 I'll be like, you see me, coach. <laughs> hey, remember when I talked about me wanting to play basketball with you? I'm straight. I'm straight on that yeah. one. <laughs> but when you hear your coach team, talk baby. like that, like, does that does that get you fired up as a player? Like, are you the type of player that wants to play for that type of like football coach, or are you like, do you want to play for the analytical kind of nose in the book type guy? Shoot, I'm down for anybody that's going to let us feel comfortable to play and be ourselves and go out there and do our best. You know, it's all about making the players comfortable enough to know that they want to go out there and put their bodies on the line for you, you know. And if we know that our coach has our back, like we're going to have his back, then it's, then it's all fair game, you know what I mean? And that's just called being a full team, being being one as a team when everybody's on the same page and everybody know what we need to do and – even when somebody's low, we got somebody else to pick them up. And if that person's low, we got somebody else to pick them up. You know, everybody doing what we need to do to help the team. It's going to be great. I can't wait, man. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. I love that you love football like this. Now, in uh, Jared Goff's um, introductory press conference, he talked about coming to Detroit and having that chip on his shoulder after how things transpired with the uh, Rams. You're coming over mm -hmm. here from an in-division rival with the Packers. How, do you feel that you have a similar chip on your shoulder coming to Detroit? Yeah, I just got a chip on my shoulder just because I just want to be great. You know what I mean? I just want to be great, get the opportunities to go out there and run the ball, be all we want if possible, and just do what I need to do to help the team. But at the same time, get more opportunities to show what I can do. And I got a lot to show. And I got a lot of celebrations I'm ready to do. I got a lot of stuff. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I, li I like that. Now, now, now to, pick, to try to piggyback <laughs> off of that, obviously Lions fans are familiar with the Packers as we see you guys. See, saw them twice a year. What aspect mm -hmm. of your game do you think Lions fans are going to be able to rally around? Um, I think just my effort and just how contagious my, my juice is, really. Like, I get turned. I get – I know you've seen Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. that's, and that's that's really me the whole game till from and I get and the funny thing is I just I get stronger from first quarter all the way to the fourth quarter. I love that. I keep building and building while I 
I'm trying to grind people down mentally in their minds. Like, they don't want to keep playing. You know what I mean? Nobody want to keep hitting. But I do. I like it. <laughs> it's, it's all a mentality thing. You know what I mean? So I'm just ready to go out there and just show what I got. Because I got a lot of juice, a lot of – just a lot of effort. You know what I mean? I'm ready to give out. And I'm ready to just do it for my team and have fun and let's all do it together. Let's go ahead ball out together. You know what I mean? I love that, man. It's all about that team effort. And when we talk about running duos, are you more confident in the whole DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams duo as you were with the Aaron Jones-Jamal duo? Uh, I don't know. I put them in. It's, it's totally different chapters. I don't try to compare anything. You know what I mean? But Joey tried just, to set you up, I'm, man. <laughs> he did. Look. <laughs> Joey, see? That don't little man syndrome. It's that little man syndrome. <laughs> Shoot, if I show kneecaps, I got to lay on my belly. <laughs> All right, a little bit easier question. The Lions have the number one, number seven overall pick in this year's draft, and obviously one of the biggest hype uh, players that has been coming out is Zach Wilson. You went to BYU. Do you have any insight behind how talented this kid is, how talented he could be, and where do you think he's going to wind up with his NFL career? Shoot, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with what he doing, but he doing a great job. That's all I say. I, and I go ahead and tell him all the time, you know, he doing a great job. Just keep being himself, and he's going to be great. But it's just he's a special player. Um, I feel like whoever gets him is going to see what type of effort he's going to give. And that's just what that, that BYU Cougar life is about. You know what I mean? You you go to the Y, you got to have some some type of effort. You ain't got no effort, you ain't going to last, honestly. So it's just he's going to be a great player. I feel him. I feel him going. He's going to go early. Yeah. I, I'm saying I feel like top. Uh, I'm going to go four. Yeah, Kuiper's got to go to the Jets at two. Yeah, so I, I feel it. He's going to be great, though. All right, now, Jamal, look. Every Monday, Joey and Stick, they do a Coney review. When you get settled in Detroit, are you coming to Woolworth Sports and doing a Coney review? What's the Coney review? Oh, oh yeah. School and oh, Corey. It's already snap. settled. Then. School and Corey. Come on, tell them about it. Oh, no, y- y'all can speak to this better than me. So Detroit is famously known for our Coney dogs, which is chili, mustard, and onions. And it's on a hot dog, on a steam bun, and it is like, it's it's internationally known, but it's our home and like it's our claim to fame for food right here. Actually, in Scottsdale right now, where you are, there's a... I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. On the on Coney dog, can it be chili cheese and no onions and that stuff? Can that still be a Coney dog? I mean, or we could, it we, has to be specifically chili, chili, chili onion mustard, and onions. And, See, the <laughs> sec, listen, the second I like, one, Jamal, I just don't will like you. mustard. Uh, okay, okay, we'll okay. substitute the mustard, like mustard for mustard cheese. Then. We'll go with that. You good with that? Yeah, yeah, I can eat it. Then okay. I eat it then. Well, perfect, man. <laughs> then, then when you finally get in Detroit, you're gonna come with me and Joey. We'll pick a coney and we'll go sample it, and you can let us know because I know you'll give our an honest can opinion. I? Can I put barbecue sauce on it? No. I, don't don't need no. Hell, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Not just no. Hell yeah. no. <laughs> that's, but that's me. I, that's, I like barbecue sauce on it. Mostly anything I eat. All right, Please. you try it Almost the original everything. way, then we can doctor it up however you want. That a deal? <laughs> cool. I'm going to make my own first slag, <laughs> Kazakage Kani. There we go. <laughs> 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 Oh, nice. <laughs> Jay Boog's first signature, Connie. <laughs> Look, y'all ain't never thought putting some barbecue sauce on them. <laughs> <laughs> that might be a Look, first. The that, next that level, might man. Be they first. Better, hey, if anybody does it, that means they stole my idea. Just to let you know. There barbecue it is. sauce on the Connie is me. Just to <laughs> that, let you know. The evolution is yeah. here, man. And the evolution of yeah. the Detroit Lions running backs are here. Jamal Williams, thank you so much for joining us this morning on the Woodward Sports Network. Appreciate I can't y'all. wait to get you in town, man. Wait. We're going to have some fun. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So I got Corey, Joey, Woodward. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. They call me Stick. Stick. All right. Hey, look at 
Hey, this man got all the nicknames. All right, where's your nickname, Corey? Just so just, I know. Hey, they just call me K Wood sometimes. Okay, oh, that ain't bad. Joey, what's yours? Little man, Napoleon. Man. <laughs> Oompa, man, Oompa, 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 I'll take that one. I don't, know, I don't know what's my yeah. nickname. I don't really the have mayor. Him. We call him the mayor. Yeah, the mayor. The mayor. <laughs> That's what they call me. Yes, you do look like the mayor from Powderpuff Girls. Yeah. Man, yeah, I never I hated a new running back so much in my life. <laughs> jo Joey's so sad he set up this interview right now. <laughs> Damn, man. Damn. Hey, hey, but listen, though. See, you see how we do this? Look. This is what people be getting on the field when they start with me. I don't even start with people. For some reason, they love starting with me just because I dance and mind my own business. So they want to come in my business, so I'm going to make my business they business for four quarters. That's what, love it. That's love what I that. do, baby. Love it, man. Well, we're looking yeah. forward to seeing you give the business on the field, man. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. Keep dancing. Keep that attitude. We're ready to bite some fucking yeah, know, kneecaps baby. this year, man. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is my move. All right, Zah. This is my move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sprinkler. <laughs> got my dad shoes on right there. there. Oh, this is shit. This going to have to learn. Got, <laughs> does he know the blade? Show him the blade? Uh, I, I, What's the blade? It, the blade dance. <laughs> oh, you got to know the blade ice one if you're coming to Detroit, man. <laughs> so I'm gonna learn these. I'm gonna learn them all. <laughs> all right, man. Have a great day. And thank you so much for coming on with us. I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a better one. Peace, <laughs> blessings, love, and all. I'll see y'all soon, baby. <laughs>